Hello, hello. We're going to jump right into another exciting tutorial here in Houdini. So we're going to go over the basics of UV mapping really quick. And to demonstrate what UV mapping is, I'm going to drop down a little um, test geometry inside here. So I'm going to drop down um, the pig head. So we see this pig head here. It has some nice texture around the nose and some color where it needs to be. Shift W to undo that wireframe. So we see that this is textured. Well, how is it textured? I'm going to drop down uh, UV quick shade and this will reveal the UVs that are on this model. So you see these squares correspond to an actual 2D plane where the textures are painted. So if I hit space 5 you can see where they line up. So if I was to hit 4, sorry, um, I'm going to go back to space 5, I'm going to hit S, so I'm selecting, or you can click there, and now hit 4 so I can select these polygons. You see, if I wanted to, you know, draw on the top of his nose there, I'm going to hit space 1 to go back here, you see that this D5 and 4, they correspond to this area right here. Look, D5 and 4. So basically, imagine if you skinned the pig head and laid out each piece of his flesh. Sounds great, not for vegans, but uh, for anybody else. And we would put it right here. That's the basics of how UV mapping works. Now, a lot of tutorials I see, see like boxes or other things that are UV mapped. And I think that's great, but it's kind of easy. So it doesn't really help. But hopefully this will help because we're actually going to try to UV map the pig head. So I'm going to clean this up right here. So I'm going to remove the attributes. So if I middle mouse click here, we see and space five, there are no more UVs there. So what I'm going to do is drop down a UV flatten node. Now the UV flatten nodes, pretty much the only node I use for UV mapping here in Houdini makes it really easy. All you've got to do is on the seams here, click this and make sure um, your wireframe is kind of turned on. So if you hold down shift and the W, you can see that. And we're just going to start cutting out as if we were to skin the pig here. So I'm going to shift, double click, and that makes a loop around here. Shift, double click here. The reason it makes a loop is because those edges were connected in a sequence. So you can't just click anywhere arbitrarily and it's going to make a loop where you'd want it. Um, that just happens to be the case for this model. So I'm going to make some more cuts around the ear here. And then I'm going to maybe cut inside the mouth here and double clicked that, let's see, double click. So I'm just making these cuts and, and you can kind of practice um, making your own cuts as you go to see kind of what works best in a particular situation. But I'm just kind of doing this as I go. So if I mess up, then I mess up, but just making cuts on areas that you won't see as much. Um, I mean, with technology now, seams aren't as big of a deal as they used to be. So these are seams, um, these edge cuts that we're making. Um, so I'm going to make sure these are all connected because imagine if we were to, you know, cut and unfold that off of there, off of his face. Um, Gonna just cut around here. So let's see where we're at right there. So I'm gonna enter and then hit space five and we see that it's unfolded, but we actually need to compress it into this one space. So I'm gonna drop down the UV layout and I'm going to hit click scale island. So now it's kind of laid out and it's UV mapped. But if I drop down a UV quick shade, we can kind of check how our UVs look. And we've got a problem here. 
So you see how these boxes are smaller and these boxes are giant and enlarged? Well, if you were to drop down, let's say, a grunge texture on this 2D plane, it's going to make it look really magnified here and really high resolution there. And that's not going to be good for your, for your textures. So we want to jump back in here and finish up making cuts around those big square areas in order to avoid those problems. So I'm going to make some cuts where I see fit. And by no means are these the perfect cuts or the best cuts. I'm just doing this super quick. And more there. Hit enter. Space 5. Go to the UV layout. We see it's all nice and laid out. Hit space 1 back here. We see we're getting there. We've got some more even squares around here. But we see the face is still having its big problems. So what to do, what to do about that face. We're just going to have to cut it up more. So we see this is probably an issue right here. I'm gonna cut that so then it could unfold a little bit easier. Let's check that. Bam. Helped it out a lot more. And lastly, what we could do is go around the ears and cut those a little bit better because we're getting some stretching problems here. So that's what we're going to do. Going to cut the ears there. Cut the ears there. And hopefully, that does it for us. So there you go. It's not necessarily perfect, but I hope that gives you a little jump start into knowing how to UV map a model that's not necessarily the easiest thing. It's not a square, but hopefully it gets you started.